What's good, guys? Man, these video gonna be dropping. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take y'all every step of the way, but it's also gonna help me out too. So if I ever, ever decide to do it again, I'll know what to do by watching my own videos. Um, sometimes when you explain things, you know how you explain it. You'll know what to do. So anyway, YouTube, YouTube, what's good, man? We got the vial covers, guesses on, and the vial covers. Y'all can see, man, we got the new guesses on both sides. So right now, we're about to, I ain't gonna do too much. So I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute. Um, We're gonna hook these up, put these back on here, put the wires back on, snap the coil packs on, y'all wanna finish that. So my intake's supposed to be here today. My fuel rail, I mean my fuel regulator is supposed to be here today. And my intake gasket is supposed to be here today. All, all three gonna be here today. So guys, my plan is, I asked my guy, Um, I think I probably put this in the video, but I, I'm just, boy, I had some in the videos and Facebook and this, that, that. So we're gonna have to get a bubble Chevy or anything round body fuel pump, fuel tank. For the dump. So how I'm running it, like I said, I'm running an uh, internal fuel pump. And it's gonna be in the tank. Um, and I'm trying to see, I might have to give me some more gas lines. I was thinking about using the lines I have since they already ran through the car. So if I don't do that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to wait and get under the car and see, trace the gas lines that's what I'm probably gonna do. As a matter of fact, they're right here anyway. Hold on, I got it. What I'm getting on is it? Okay, there's one here. So this one gas line, which is the feed line. So we probably just gonna keep this one. Uh, but anyway, cause I don't think this car got a return. So yeah, it don't, it just got the two. It got the vent and the I think I could be wrong, but I was thinking it had just a vent line and the um, the uh, not the return, but the feed line. Because I, I think in these don'ts they got two ports sticking out the fuel assembly, so I think that's just that one. So we're gonna have to run the gas tank out of the bubble Chevy, which is gonna have three prongs, and we're gonna have to have one of um, the feed line which I'm gonna have to hook that feed line up to this feed line here. And then the other one gonna be probably the return line, which I'm gonna have to make a return line. And then I'm gonna have to have the other one open for a vent, which I'm gonna run a hose uh, up to the neck of the tank, I heard. And then the return line, I'm gonna run it through here as well, but I'm gonna have to find a, uh, see where I'm gonna mount my regulator. I don't know where I'm gonna put my regulator at because I wanna have access. I wanna put it to this wall, but I wanna have access and I don't you know my intake carburetor than that. So we probably gonna have to mount it somewhere. We probably have to mount it somewhere here. This right here, I'm gonna unplug, I'm gonna unhook this, put this in the trunk because I ain't gonna be using this plus it's in the way. So uh, y'all just gotta excuse. I know I got dirt everywhere man you know what i'm saying i just man at this point i'm like man i feel like i'm gonna have to get i already got a little patch over there i'm gonna have to get resprayed anyway so um uh, trying to cover as much as i could man trying to save as much as i could but anyway um like i said we're gonna have to take this hose out um uh, kinking this hose I think I'm gonna take this hose out. I think I'm gonna take both of these hose and get the actual uh, five, three hose. And then I'm gonna take this hose out cause I think this is a little bigger. I can tell by the hose side and get the five, three hose side. So it can go straight from here, straight from here. Get the five, three hose that can go from here to here in a belt. Still gotta get the belt. So like I said, the, um, Oh, what is this? This is the, uh, oh yeah, I need that. So we're gonna have to better mount that somewhere. Probably gonna mount that here. 
have it run across here. And then have that here. But yeah, that fuel regulator guy, we're gonna have to find a spot, man. Like I said, I don't know, we might put it here. And that way we can have the return line running up. Then we have the clock thing, then the, the, the end line, which is the feed line. I mean, well, it's the feed line here anyway, so we're gonna have to have this line running up to the regulator and ran to the fuel pump. I mean, to the carburetor, my bad. So yeah, it's a lot of work. Uh, the wires, I set these wires right here because I got uh, um, one of ignition core wire I got. It's gonna be hot when I turn the key forward. So I, I don't know if I need that for the MSD box. That little wire right here. And then I got the alternator wire. Then I got the starter wires running down. And then I also got this wire for the starter wire running down. So <clears throat> I was supposed to get my intake today. So hopefully I can, um, and I need some more wires so I can extend some wires that I need to extend and uh, cover them wires up. Make sure they off headers, you know what I'm saying? Make sure all that stuff. Um, Last not least, like I said, once we do get the fuel pump, get the hoses ran, get it hooked up to the carburetor, the last thing I'm gonna do is get the MSD box. We still gotta hook the, the throttle cable up. Um, I got the hose over there that's running. That's the brake boost that's gonna go on the back of the intake. So only thing I'm gonna need help, which I'm probably gonna have to Google or X. I got a port right there. I'm trying to see if that's a suction. I'm trying to see if this suction and then these are running here. I'm trying to see if this suction. So I need to see if all that stuff suction hose, vacuum hose, I mean, I should have said vacuum. If I can see, if y'all can comment also below guys, if them vacuum hose, so I can hook up the carburetor, make sure everything got vacuum hose. So I think that one, yeah, I'm gonna have to hook to a carburetor, I think. So I don't know, man, we're gonna see how that goes, man. But um, you know we gotta get the belt, put the belt on. So, like I said, last we're gonna get the um MSD box. So y'all just stay tuned, guys. We doing piece by piece, but we're gonna be dropping these videos. Let y'all know, man. We working, we grinding. Uh, this gonna be a journey. This gonna be a build that I did, and I just hope everything. You know what I'm saying? work so but right now we should go ahead and hook these two up so we're gonna try to see what we can do real quick so let me go on and uh, hook this stuff up guys we're gonna be doing piece by piece man but it's gonna work once you do piece by piece everything ain't gonna everything ain't gonna work just gotta make it work Thank you. 
different size. Don't oh. they all the right size? Again, guys, we're going to get new coil packs. Let's 
since these good, we just wanted to fire it up, you know what I'm saying? And by the way, I got some came in the mail. We're gonna see what it is. So I open it up and see. But yeah, she's coming along, guys. We ain't got that far, man. We hey, piece by piece, man. That's what we're gonna do. Piece by piece. I promise you, starting to flow, but now it's gonna look good once I put the actual um, carburetor and stuff on and get the hoses ran. It's gonna look damn good, especially for the first time. You know what I'm saying? So just be patient with me, guys. We're gonna get there, man. I know some things might not look up the part to some people. Some things might not, you know what I'm saying, look like this here, but gonna be you know what i'm saying the yellow wire we're gonna oh that's loose so we're gonna take the yellow wire the way and this right here just a fan um i don't know what this stuff is i think this to this horn and lights and stuff so we gotta leave that but we're gonna take all this out like the oil pressure we're gonna take that out and put my other one and this go in the back of the carburetor we're gonna hit the ground we gotta find a, a ground too to hook it up. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, man, that's about it. We ain't got too long. So let's see what's in this package. intake i was telling y'all about now me ordering the intake the intake i don't know if it came with gaskets so i'm not going to open this just yet anyway so i think the intake just came with the intake but if it came with gaskets then we can return this or i can probably sell it but if not we'll keep it so we'll have some so uh, well this is the part number if y'all want to see I had researched on YouTube. So yeah. So, yeah, hopefully that you know, make it do what it do, you know what I'm saying? And one way to find out. So we're gonna stick this back in the bag. Well, I keep it right here so I have it. So I just got the email, which is, y'all already know what's up. Oh yeah. Oh, ah. Let's see what we have here. the intake okay so they actually came with some gaskets didn't know that clearly didn't know it came with some gaskets came with gaskets and boats Sure. 
go this way. Thing they gave me, these are the kind I got, so I probably got the big kind. Daddy, hmm? Daddy, go outside. Not right now, okay? Huh? Not right now. Uh huh. So I need to send this back. So y'all some real quick. Alright, so what we gonna do now guys, we're gonna start by going ahead and put the gaskets on. So let me set y'all down. All right, so I'm gonna go and take this paper tiles out. I'll just put all the wire to the side real quick and go from there. We're gonna, I don't know if I said this in the video, but we're gonna move that hose. Got the uh, the gaskets on. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and bolt it up. Go ahead and drop that, drop that bag. Drop that intake, man. We can get a better look, man. We got the carburetor too over here.
All right, man, so we gotta just snuggle it down now, guys. We'll catch y'all back. Shut the door, here I come.
take this off now. Yo, YouTube. All right, guys. Sorry about that, man. Camera cut off on me. Better went dead. But anyway, we got the intake on. We got the uh, carburetor on. Show y'all what I did. I moved the wires over here to the side so I can figure out some stuff real quick. So, what y'all think so far, man? It's looking good. Yes, sir. Looking good so far. Y'all let me know how I did. To me, it like I did a damn good job. So, like I said, um, we got the wires move it over, um, so we can figure out. I still gotta buy an alternator because I don't like this alternator. I don't like it being on the back side of it. Damn, back side of it. I just don't like how it look. But we gotta get an alternator and the starter. So once we get the starter, get the new alternator. Uh, we gotta get the. The pressure, the water temp, put it here. The oil temp, we're gonna put it there. Run our vacuum lines. We're probably gonna put a, a breather right there. But we're gonna run our vacuum lines. And like I said, we got this over here because I know this. Some go to the alternator, then some go to the uh, starter. And then we got one switch that goes, it's probably that it was going to my distributor. So that might go need to be hooked up to the ignition box when I get it. So uh anyway guys, so I want to say this real quick. So once I torque down the 
I still got the flywheel and the torque convertible boats. So by they having that adapter on there, it kind of it wasn't close, so it kind of spread it out. So that adapter made me having to get longer boats now for my torque convertible. So once I get on there and torque my torque convertible down, uh, I'm gonna go live. Only if I don't get no help. If I get some help. Uh, we'll be good. We can make videos. But if I don't get no help when it's time for me to run the vacuum hoses, I'm going to go live so I can get y'all to help me run these vacuum hoses. Now, these lines, like I said, we're going to get some new ones, upper and lower. We're going to get new hoses. And we're going to get a belt. But the lines like this, I need to see where this going. I need to see where that one going. All in the bag and the intake, you know. It's got the whole back here in the intake. We're gonna see what goes there. Uh, we got the little small hole here, which is under here. And I got those bolts right here, just in case. So we're gonna figure out where all this stuff goes. So if I don't get help, I'm gonna go live and get y'all to help me set this stuff up. So my regulator's supposed to be here today Matter of fact, I need to check the mailbox. But I got a regulator comes in as well. And, you know, we're going to have to run that stuff as well. But, yeah, man, so we getting there, guys. So y'all stay tuned. Like I said, the little thing that matters, man, the little thing that count, man, it's just piece by piece. Gasket intake on, carburetor on with the gasket under it. Got the gasket on the uh, cover, valve covers. Got the coil. We got new spark plugs. And um, yeah, guys. So, if y'all want to know why I went carburetor, is because me personally, man, I just got done tired of sending my car to the shops, and uh, I just got tired of being disappointed with shops and all this stuff, man. Dealing with this, dealing with cars, period. I just didn't want to deal with people, my cars. So, I could have went. Um, with the wire hornings and did the fuel injecting and all that stuff. I could have did that. I had a guy that said they can help me. But honestly, guys speaking, I just really want to do it myself. And I want to do the simple way first, the easier way first. Later down the line, if I decide to ever go LS swap, I can go here fuel injected on this car. Um, if, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying in general. So, that's why I went LS swap. I just want to do it myself, do it with a carburetor, because I know it's going to be a little cheaper. But I ain't going to say cheaper, because it's not cheap. Intake, about 200, 150, 160, after tech 180, whatever. Depending on which one you get. MAD box, five, 600. You still got to get the torque convertor, uh, I mean, the, the flywheel. You, it's, it's still a lot now. I ain't going to say it's cheap. So let me rephrase that. I just did this because I thought it was a little more easier and not too much complicated. So like I said, that's that's what we got, man. But um, <laughs> y'all stay tuned to the bill. I'm going to try to post as much videos I can to the bill. I'm gonna, uh, I still got to get gas tanks. And like I said, I got a lot. I got a long way to go. But I say I'm probably 80% done. And the other 20 we're going to try to knock that out. We're going to try to do videos after videos. Y'all might get some longer videos. Y'all might get some short videos. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be dropping to show y'all the progress. And y'all know me. I ain't the type that's going to sit around. So, hey, when she cleaned up and everything, this motherfucker look good, bro. It look good for me doing it by myself. <laughs> it did look good, man. So, that's what we got, man. So, Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Thank y'all for subscribing. Like I said, y'all just stay tuned to the bill. If y'all new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Like, share, turn the post notifications on, man. Skip it.